Welcome to a video tutorial from Wiesnos.com and today we'll be looking at electrolysis. Now what is electrolysis? Electrolysis refers to any reaction which an electric current is used to break down a compound. The compound being broken down is known as the electrolyte. Now if we have an electric current breaking down the electrolyte then you'd imagine that the electric current enters at one point and exits at another point. The point which the electric current enter and leave the electrolyte is known as the electrodes. Now electrolysis takes place in what is known as a electrolytic cell. And this is shown below. Electrolysis may also take place in a galvanic cell. However, we will not be looking at the galvanic cell at the galvanic cell in this tutorial. Now the electrolytic cell has a few basic components. It has a battery, it has a positive end, and a negative end of the battery. Has the electrolyte and has the electrodes. Now, since the electrodes are either connected to the positive end of the battery or the negative end of the battery, you'd imagine that there is a negative charge. You'd imagine that there is a negative electrode and a positive electrode. Now. Since there's a flow of electricity from one electrode to another because the electric current enters at one point and leaves at the other point, then you'd have to then you'd have to realize that the then you have to realize that the electrolyte has to be a conductive material. In other words, the electrolyte cannot be a non-conductive covalent compound. Now let's look at the electrolysis of a simple ionic solution. Aqueous hydrogen chloride. We know hydrogen chloride is an acid, which means that it will complete the ionizing solution to form the hydrogen ion, and in the case of hydrogen chloride, the, the chloride ion. Since, since, the, since this is an aqueous solution, then the water molecule will also be present. Now, water partially ionizes to form the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion. Now, all these ions are present in solution of the electrolyte. Since opposite charges attract, then you'd expect the negative ions to surround the positive electrode. So we'd have the hydroxide ion and the chloride ion. And you'd expect the positive ions to surround the negative electrode. In this case, the only positive ion in the aqueous hydrogen chloride is the hydrogen ion. Now, the negative electrode is called the cathode. And the positive electrode is called the anode. And as you can imagine, the reason why the anode is called the anode is because it attracts anions, and the reason that the cathode is called the cathode is because it attracts cations. Now this is electrolysis, so any reaction taking place will involve a loss or gain of electrons. Now we gave you a simple acronym called OILRIC in the previous section under in the previous section under oxidation and reduction. And this simple means oxidation is lost, reduction is gain. Now, at the cathode, there is a surplus of negative electrons. At the anode, there is a shortage of these negative electrons. This is why there is a positive charge. Now, the cations at the cathode, at the cathode will accept these negative electrons. And the reaction for the hydrogen ions at the cathode looks like this. As you can see, there's a gain of electrons. This means that reduction is taking place.
We know that reduction and oxidation are simultaneous reactions. This means that if reduction is taking place on one side, then oxidation must, play, must be taking place at the other side. And this is exactly what happens. I'll put cathode here for clarity. At the anode, there is oxidation taking place. In other words, there is a loss of electrons. Now, at the anode, the anions present are the hydroxide ions and the chloride ions. The hydroxide ions will lose electrons to form the oxygen molecule. And water. And the chloride ions will lose electrons to form, to form chlorine gas and the chlorine molecule. Now, now you may be wondering where I obtain these equations and they can be found under the redox equilibrium of the electrochemical series. Now it is not important that you learn these equations as they can be found in any textbook. However it is important that you understand the concept and the concept is that reduction takes place at the cathode and oxidation takes place at the anode. Now you may be wondering if these two reactions take place at the same time, and the answer for that is no. One reaction would take place in preference to the other, and the reaction that would take place in preference to the other is the one that is lower down the reactivity series. In other words, the hydroxide ion is lower down the reactivity series than the chloride ion. This means that the hydroxide ion will be oxidized in preference to the chloride ion. This means that this reaction will take place first. Now, if you look at the electrolysis of aqueous hydrogen chloride, then we'll see oxygen gas coming off at the anode and hydrogen gas coming off at the cathode. Earlier we said that electrolysis is the breakdown of a compound using an electric current, and this is exactly what we did. We brought down the water molecule. into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And you may be wondering why we brought in a water molecule instead of the hydrogen chloride molecule. And this is because, as we said earlier, the hydroxide ions will take preference to the chloride ions because they are lower down the reactivity series. If we want to break down the hydrogen chloride molecule, we have to use concentrated hydrogen chloride. In this case, there will be a very limited amount of hydroxide ions. As a result, in other words, the chloride ions will be the ones that will be oxidized. So in the case of concentrated, the ions present would be And there'd be very limited amount of a hydroxide ion. So, since there's a very limited amount of hydroxide ion, the chloride ion will be the one that's oxidized. And the products from the electrolysis of concentrated HCl would be hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. Now, let's look back at the electrolytic cell. We say oxidation is occurring at the anode and reduction is taking place at the cathode. Since oxidation is taking place with a loss of electrons, these electrons will travel upwards the anode towards the cathode and they'll be accepted by the cations. Now, electrolysis is a very cyclic process. So if you understand that, then you should have no trouble understanding electrolysis. Let's think about it like this. 
the, the negative anions will donate their electrons and these electrons will travel through the circuit towards the cations which will accept these negative electrons and be reduced. Now in summary For the electrolysis of aqueous hydrogen chloride at the anode, we have oxygen gas coming off. And at the cathode, we have hydrogen gas coming off. We have not spoken about the material that makes the electrodes. And the material that makes electrodes are generally an inert metal such as platinum or the allotrope of, of carbon graphite. In this case we use graphite. We would indicate this by putting carbon in, in brackets. In the next tutorial we'll be looking some more at the concentrated 8-cell electrolysis. And we'll be looking at the electrolysis of sodium chloride and the electrolysis of a couple other aqueous solutions. I think that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for making it wisnotes.com. Now and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for making it wisnotes.com.